Okay, hey, Steve, your multifamily specialist here. I um, wanted to run through some quick numbers on how to calculate flip values. You'll see other videos on how to calculate rental values, how to calculate um, rehab numbers, and so on and so forth. And here's what I do when I do flips. And this is no secret sauce here. Everyone pretty much uses the same rules, but here's how I interpret them. So the first thing I do is... I, you take the ARV. Obviously, it all starts with getting a realtor to give you a solid ARV. And here's the important thing I do with the ARVs. Let's say the property has an ARV of 150 to 200. That's what it's worth when it's finished. So I'm going to say, obviously, the middle of that is 175. And um, I'm then going to take off that 175. I'm going to take another 5 or 10% off that. So let's say 165 is what I'm really going to say the ARV is. And yes, I'm being cautious. You'll see that I beat the hell out of the numbers because if you're wrong, you still survive. And if you're right, you win big. I'd rather not do a deal than do a bad deal. I've done enough of those. Thanks. I've had my fill. I'm good. So my ARV is 165. I then take 70% of that, and you'll see the numbers that are showing up on the screen are different than what I'm saying because I can't do math like this in my head, and I'm using my phone to record. So 165, 70% of that is 16, 45, so like 120, roughly. So 120 is every dime that I can invest in the property. Now for me... I want that 120 to only include my lender money or my realtor money, but not both. Meaning I want that 30% to include either the lender money or the realtor money. So out of the 120, I'm going to take another 10% off because I'm either paying my lender 10% or I'm paying my realtor 6 and my closing costs and whatever. Either way, it's 10%. So my 120 is now 108. 108, I've got to buy, hold, fix, refi, whatever the property for. And let's say my holding costs are going to be five grand, so 108 is 103. Let's say my taxes over the period are going to be three thousand dollars, so I'm at a hundred. And let's say my rehab is fifty. So magic number, I have fifty thousand dollars to spend to buy a pro buy this property. If I'm a wholesaler, I have less than fifty, because it's the difference between that fifty and what I can get it for. That's my wholesale number. So. I'm down to saying, you know, I can spend $40,000, da, da, da. Now, in that 50, for me, in my ideal universe, also includes my purchasing costs. In my market, three or $4,000. Transfer tax, blah, 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 blah. So that 50 has to include that number. So if I'm a wholesaler, and let's say I want to make five grand on the deal, so that's 45 if the purchase cost is going to be another $5,000, that's forty. So for a house that's going to sell for one sixty-five dollars and needs fifty dollars in work, I'm buying it for forty. dollars It depends on your market, how long you think you're going to have to hold it for, blah, 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 how much you want to vary from that. But the rule of thumb is middle to low middle ARV, 70% of that, Minus what it takes to get the deal done, the rehab, the holding, the taxes, the transaction fees, the lender money, brings you to your max allowable offer. If you're a wholesaler, you got to build your wholesale fee in there somewhere as well. And if you're a wholesaler, you got to remember, rule one, your client better make more than you do. If you don't bring them a deal where they rock more than you do, you might make 30 grand off them on the first deal but you're probably not going to hear from them again. And you decide. I've certainly taken the 30 grand and run and realized I'm not going to hear from the guy in the future. Um, but you just got to decide. Anyway, I'm Steve, your multifamily specialist. 570-798-7051. Hit subscribe. Let's get this going. If you ever want training mentorship or you want to learn how to buy investment property or you want to buy investment property, let me know. I do commercial, multifamily, mixed use, everything. Only thing I don't do is I don't want to show houses to bridezillas. If you're looking for your end, 
your end of life family home, I recommend you find a good realtor in your market. That won't be me. Have a good day, everybody. Thanks. Bye.